फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग गुड टुडे आई हैव कम विद एन इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक द टॉपिक इज द लैंड ऑफ द लिटिल पीपल व्हाट इज दैट द लैंड ऑफ द लिटिल पीपल या ऑफ कोर्स इन दैट लैंड ओनली द लिटिल पीपल आर लिविंग इट सीज एंड व्हाट इज स्ट्रेंज इन दिस स्टोरी Yeah, there is a great strange in this story. Here comes a large, big, and a fat man, one who goes to that place to live. Let us see how this large and big man and the little people are meeting each other. When they meet each other, what's happening to them? How the little people react? What they are doing to him? how they are feeling who is that height man who is that big man that's none other than galiver galiver unfortunately he reached the place he was he is a great sailor he loves to sail in a ship he has gone to visit some places by mistake his ship got sink in the water his ship got destroyed he could not uh travel in ship so what he did he started to swim he started to with a lot of difficulty he started to swim and at last he reached to the land in which land the land where people little people live So let's see what's happening after he reaches to the little people's place. Really interesting. Listen and watch. Let's see what's happening and what happens to the man one who is really big and fat. Though they are very little, they do many things. All looks really funny, but they are really clever. So they were really clever. They were really clever to attack this fat man. They were a little, they were very strong. They worked in a group to attack this single man, one who is in a big, tall, and fat. Let's see and enjoy the story. The land of the little people. In the story, Lionel Gulliver is an Irish surgeon and sailor During one of his voyages there is a grey storm and the ship on which he is sailing sinks He manages to swim to land Gulliver was tired and lay down on the soft grass near the shore he slept soundly for many hours when he woke up it was daylight he tried to get up but could not his legs arms and hair were tied to the ground galiver felt something moving first along his left leg and then on his chest Looking down he saw a little man not more than 6 inches tall with a bow and arrows in his hand about 50 other little men followed him all carrying bows and arrows Gulliver was astonished he shouted loudly and pulled his arms up from the ground breaking the cords which tied them down this frightened the little men and they ran away but they soon returned and started shooting arrows at galiver from a distance the arrows pricking galiver like a needles galiver acted wisely He did not try to catch any of the little men 
Instead, he made a sign to them and they stopped shooting. Then he made a sign to show that he wanted food. The little men understood and soon brought several baskets of food and two barrels of wine. The food consisted of legs of mutton and loaves of bread. The men put their longest ladder against Gulliver's side and carried the baskets of food to his mouth. After he had emptied the baskets, the little men rolled the barrels of wine over his chin and opened the tops. He emptied each barrel in one glum and wanted more but they had no more to give him. Gulliver felt better now. The king and queen of these little people lived in the capital about half a mile from where Gulliver was. The king ordered his men to bring the man mountain. To him, it was not an easy thing to do, but the little men were very clever. They made a long carriage which was 3 inches high and had 22 wheels. 900 of the strongest men among them rolled Gulliver onto it and fastened him safely. 1500 of King's finest horses were pulled the carriage along the road. The next day, Gulliver was brought to the capital. They untied his hands and legs and allowed him to stand up because now they knew that he did not instant or harm them. But they chained his left foot and the carriage with 90 tiny chains to prevent him from escaping. The king, the queen and thousands of little men, women and children came to see the man mountain. Most of these people were friendly to Gulliver but some of them were hostile <laughs> and started shooting arrows at him. Gulliver stretched out his hand and caught six of them. He put five of them into his pocket and pretended to eat the sixth one. The men started crying and Gulliver let them go. Gulliver lived happily on this island for many months. The king appointed 300 cooks to prepare his food and 300 tailors to make a new suit for him. Six of the wisest men taught him the language of the island. From them, he learned that the little country was called Lilliput.